aktivt för covid-19. Två gånger om. Först en gång på flygplatsen och sen en gång på hotellet när jag kom hit. I was feeling well. I haven't had any fever or anything. So I thought that everything was cool. Uh, so I didn't think so much about the test result. Uh, we went to our hotel in the mountains. Uh, and after a few hours at the uh, hotel room, I got a phone call with the uh, COVID manager of the hotel saying that uh, the test at the airport was positive, which surprised me a lot because I felt good. <laughs> uh, and they told me that I have to stay at my, my room. So now it's an isolation hotel for me. Jag vet inte när, jag vet inte var det här ligger. Men eh, någon gång så kommer jag forsa sport dit. Vi får se vad som händer nu. Nu har jag fått veta att det är isoleringshotell som gäller för mig. Oklart hur länge. Jag har fått en sån här fin dräkt som jag på mig. Då ska jag åka typ en 45 minuter härifrån till ett annat hotell. Munskydd, visir, självklart med tillhörande försättarna, handskar. Uh, it was really terrifying experience, and it just felt like it felt. It didn't feel real. It felt like I was in a movie, in a sci-fi movie or something. Um, it was really hard to to understand that everything happened to me. Uh, I was really far away from home. I'm from Sweden, so I've traveled all all the way to to China, and I was just I was just by myself. Uh, no one to speak to uh, in an ambulance out of nowhere. Um. Det är väldigt på riktigt nu. Jag känner mig extremt utlämnad. Jag känner mig extremt ensam. Även om jag har kollegor på plats. Helt tomt hotell kan vi inte dra igen någonstans. Men att det tog kanske en halvtimme åka kanske. Ingen pratar engelska. Helt tyst, helt tomt. Öde hotell. Mitt ute ingenstans. Ändå ser jag det. It's um, lonely, of course. It's re really quiet. I don't hear anything. All day it's just quiet. And uh, this hotel is, I think, it near a um, ski resort, which is empty. Uh, all I can see from my window is a cliff. Someone will bring you lunch later. Okay. This is, this is, I would say, the most strange situation, the most strange week I've had in my entire life, for sure. Jag vet inte vad som händer framöver. Jag har ingen aning. Det enda jag vet är att jag måste testa negativt två dagar i rad. Jag ska testa varje dag nu. För att få lämna det här stället. But not knowing when you're getting out of this room is uh, it's something else. It's um, it's really really hard. It's really hard to to live with to be to be honest. <laughs> I, I get way too much food. Uh, they're really generous. Uh, I can show you my lung, lunch package that I just that I just had. So this is my lunch today. So I get three of these packages each day. It's really, really much. Unfortunately, it's not my favorite food, but at least I have food. So I won't, I won't starve, starve until death, which is good. I mean, I, I cannot choose when I want to leave. I cannot choose what to eat. I cannot choose when I get my food um, and stuff like that. I just want to make my own choices. I think the first time, I, the first thing I will do when I get out here is just to get a menu somewhere at the restaurant and just choose something that I want to have. Uh, that's the thing that I miss the most. Det kan ta två dagar, det kan ta en vecka, det kanske ta en månad tills jag är härifrån. Vi får se helt enkelt hur länge jag behöver stanna.